first son was a healthy 24 year old. Then COVID-19 suddenly took his life. Tonight, that grieving mom is speaking out with a message she hopes will save other lives. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live tonight with her heartbreaking story. Kim. Yes, this mom told me that she wants to be clear. She does not blame the doctors who had telemedicine appointments with her son, but she blames the protocols they are following that are being used with COVID-19 patients time and time again. She says what is being done is putting our whole medical system at risk. This is 24 year old Ben Hirschman. His commitment to God and country was unfailing. His mom, Denise Hirschman, is well known in Macomb County for her work as an attorney, magistrate and court administrator. She felt pride as she watched her son stand up for what he believed. He loved politics and recently interned for state Senator Peter Lucido. Wonderful individual who cared about people and he wanted to make sure that people were taken care of. Now they're speaking out to make sure other people are taken care of better than Ben was. After a telemedicine appointment, a doctor told Ben to quarantine himself since he had COVID-19 symptoms. His mom says he felt worse, so on Monday, he had another telemedicine appointment around 3.30 in the afternoon. The doctor told him to stay home. At 6.30 in the morning on Tuesday, my son was dead, and the autopsy showed that it was acute pneumonia from the virus, and his lungs were filled with disease. And not a medical professional that we reached out to would help us. Ben's mom says now his dad, a two-time cancer survivor with lung disease and COVID-19 symptoms, is getting the same instructions. Doctors don't want to see patients in person until it's visibly obvious they're in trouble. The medical examiner concurred with me that this is not the practice of medicine where doctors refuse to treat, to treat sick people. This is the United States of America, and when your child is sick, you can't take them to a doctor. You can't have a doctor listen to their heart. You can't have a doctor listen to their lungs. I know we can't continue to not help people. How do we in the United States of America not help people? How do we not let people be able to see a doctor when they're sick? Senator Lucido says he is talking to other leaders in our state, trying to find solutions, brainstorming. Perhaps we should have drive through examination places where people can be checked out by a doctor efficiently without bringing anything into offices so that they can know whether they need more treatment. There are a lot of challenges, for example, a lack of medical professionals. But this mom says she wants to see better for others who get sick in the future. Reporting live, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Oh, our heart breaks for that mom and breaks for so many doctors, too, who are sick from treating so many patients. Just a difficult situation for everyone involved. Thank you, Kim, for the live report.